Hey everyone, I'm Tech Steve, and on this video, I'm gonna solve a problem that a few of you guys are having. Now here's the scenario. You have some older audio equipment, you have computer speakers, they have RCA or 3.5 inputs, but it doesn't have fiber optic input, but you wanna hook it up to your new television set that you wanna go out and buy. Well, the problem is, is that most TV sets only have fiber optic output, so what do you do? So in today's video, I scoured Amazon and found a adapter that'll work for you guys. Never heard of this brand, but this is called MyPen and it's $23, but what it can do is change that fiber optic over to analog so you can hook it up to different types of devices. And the great thing about this one, I found one with a remote control. So if this issue is for you, sit back and relax and let me tell you all about it. And here's everything that you get in the box. On the front of the converter, there's a remote control sensors. There's also indicators for all the different inputs and a select button. There's also a volume up and down with indicators and a power input. Take a look at the back of it. You have your power input, your fiber optic input, coaxial input, and then these are analog outputs and these are the ones that we need to convert your TV over to a different format. For this video, we'll be using a 50 inch LG 7300 series TV. We're also gonna be using these Bose Companion 2s because it has the analog inputs that we need. The first thing you would do is just plug in the fiber optic into the back of the television set. The next thing you would do is plug the fiber optic into the back of the digital to analog converter. There's normally three different types of cable that you can use for this type of equipment. You usually have RCA to RCA cables, RCA to 3.5 millimeter or 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeters. For example today, I'm gonna to use a 3.5 millimeter to RCA cable. So let's go and plug everything in. To recap, we have the fiber optic in the back of the TV set, plugged into the input of the digital to analog converter, coming out of the analog of the digital analog converter, and to this Bose speaker. So here's what my setup looks like. Now there's a couple more things you need to do. First, you need to go to the digital to analog converter. Make sure you're on the optical input if you're using optical. Then go to the TV and make sure that your speakers are turned off in the TV set and that you choose fiber optic as your output if that's what you're using. So from this LG, I will hit the menu button. I will go down to the speaker and you can see it's on internal speakers. I will scroll over to where it says optical. Now that's set. Now let's find some kind of audio so I can show you guys what it sounds like. Now I have a selected video. I can use the remote control to turn the volume up and down. Or I can go right to the front of the box. So I hope this helps out some of you guys who are in that unique situation where you want to hook up some computer speakers to your TV set or old audio setup. This right here for 23 bucks will solve all those problems. And I did a few tests on it. It didn't have any extra noise, it sounded really good. And you definitely want to get one with a remote control because this particular one, if you have computer speakers, you notice on the Bose, they had just a rheostat volume. So this allowed me to have a wireless connection unless you want to keep getting up. But overall, I would recommend this and I'll put that in the description below. Before I close out this video, I just want to show you guys this stand real quick and it's the last video I uploaded to my channel. And the reason that I think you guys will like it is because if you bought a new TV set, it has these base where these legs are on opposite sides of the TV set. And this allow you to have that smaller surface so you can put it on top of your dresser or antique furniture, anything that needs it has a smaller base. So if that's something you guys are interested in, I'll leave a link to the video and you guys can go check it out. But if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.